Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sampurna Ghosh, ENT consultant in Sunshine Hospital, Gachiboli, Hyderabad. So after the lockdown, as I have started the OPD uh, recently, uh, I made sure uh, to take all the possible precautions. The time has changed uh, before Corona and after Corona. So as you can see, uh, I'm wearing the OT scrub, which we usually wear during the surgery. But now even in the OPD, um, I'm not wearing the uh, formal wear. So along with that, I'm wearing the face mask, uh, which is N95. And uh, we are putting this um, head shield kind of uh, to prevent the bigger droplets. This is not only for the doctor's safety, but also important for the patient's safety. And uh, I made sure that uh, there is no overcrowding in my waiting area and uh, there are only few appointments are given. Most of the consultations I am trying to do uh, via the teleconsultation and only I ask my patients uh, where it is absolutely required for me to do some kind of clinical assessment or um, endoscopy or where I need a multi-speciality team approach. Uh, to treat the patient then only i ask my patients to come to the hospital i'm here to tell you that for any kind of ent emergency i'm available here uh, it can be uh, nasal bleeding god forbid it doesn't happen to you in this moment but remember if there is any epistaxis or nasal bleeding any foreign body of the especially important for the children in the nose ear or throat or any other kind of severe infection peritonsillar abscess um, I'm here to uh, give you 24-hour service in our hospital and uh, please uh, a request to all of you uh, even after the lockdown is over don't go out much try to avoid to come to hospital unless it is absolute necessity in cases of the chronic disease or mild symptom take help of the teleconsultation and in sunshine we are doing teleconsultation even before the corona time, which has proved to be much useful now. So you can consult us through MFine or through Practo. When really necessary, you can visit us in the OPD. Thank you. So we are doing the endoscopy in a separate room and we are making sure that we clean all the instrument first with a multi-enzyme cleanser, followed by we are keeping it in the sidex chamber and the uh, nursing assistant is trained in that uh, after each endoscopy we are even cleaning the chair and all the cables so that we don't have any chance of transmission to the other patient and we have separated the procedure room the suction machine in a separate room other than the consultation room and uh, this is our consultation room where we are allowing only the patient uh, unless the attendant is required if the attendant come who will sit in a quite a distance uh, to maintain the uh, social distancing as far as possible and uh, all the equipments used uh, are cleaned with sterilium after each patient visit and the doctor is using the mask and the cap and the face shield and of course the uh, disposable tongue depressor so we are trying to reduce the chance of transmission um, as far as possible. As you know, N95 is really very, very tight and uncomfortable. So I decided to open it to make the last part of the video. I couldn't just um, breathe nicely through this. It's so suffocating. So uh, the last thing what I want to mention that uh, uh, we have completely shifted to uh, giving e-prescription we are typing in our computer and from the reception the printout is giving this is also uh, in an attempt to reduce the transmission through the fomite so we are trying to go paperless and uh, sometimes the prescription if the patient want it goes to the to their telephone number via um, sms whenever as a patient or as an attendant you are going back from hospital to home make sure that uh, you clean your watch your mobile even your spectacles and uh, do not enter with the shoe uh, directly into your house and uh, without washing your hands and foot properly do not sit in any of the 
chair or sofa in your home and immediately wash uh, the clothes in soap water and then only uh, you should be in your home attire. So please take care. These were the precautions I wanted to mention and uh, make use of the teleconsultation.